Well, 2019 may be long gone, but it sure did leave behind some great movies, didn't it? And I think it's about time I finally took a look and listed my top 5 movies of 2019. So sit back because some of these movies are gonna blow you away because you probably forgot they existed. Number 5 Shaft, the sequel to the 2000s reboot of the classic black exploitation film. This movie was just an absolute joy to watch. It was funny and tackled cross-generational themes with intelligence and new ones that we don't really see that much from a lot of comedies these days. In fact, there were very few comedies to come out last year at all, so the fact it was genuinely funny was just an achievement in of itself. Samuel Jackson came back to play an older version of his version of the character, and he was just absolutely balls of fun in this. And so was the lead actor playing the new Shaft. Like, his performance too was absolutely awesome and also gave us a character who was very much a new a modern man who needed to get in touch with his classic masculinity in order to save the day. An absolutely great film that's worth watching if you want to see a modern example of how great African American cinema can be when it produces something that is truly good. Number 4 Shazam! DC sure is on a roll these days. Now, I didn't get to see this in the cinema, I had to wait for the Blu-ray release, and it was worth the wait. Sure, we got some hokey CGI a bit here and a bit there, but the characters, the action, the humour, all of it was on point. And it was all held up by some good performances from the actors, with in particular the two lead actors playing Billy Batson and his adult form Shazam, gave some of the best performances in the entire film, possibly in the DC Cinematic Universe, playing a dual role as the same character in a different body. But of course it also carried with it a great deal of emotion and heart that really does tug at your heartstrings. This really is an emotional film in its own right, while also still offering us plenty of bombastic and fun action that we've come to expect from superhero films. And possibly the one thing I liked about more than anything is that, was that with its somewhat dark tone at times, it actually felt like I was watching a film that was almost an exact copy of the ones I used to watch when I was a kid, like The Never Ending Story. That's what it felt like to me. This was a film that was just absolute awesome. Number three. Green Book, the modern road trip movie that told the heartwarming story of one man teaching his black friend how to properly eat fried chicken. I kid, I kid, but for real, the story of Dr. Don Shirley and how he got moved around the United States during segregation era America really is an enjoyable film. The characters are well-rounded and likeable, three-dimensional, and well-developed throughout the course of the film, in particular Don Shirley and of course his driver, the other protagonist. They're played by some good actors who give great performances, the cinematography in this film is actually rather beautiful at times, and the music too, oh the music, it was just spectacular when I saw it in the cinema. But of course to go along with its drama and at times heavy themes, it's also got some good humour with it too. Not overbearing to the point where the film can be considered a comedy, but it is there and it always hit the mark. If you're looking for a slower paced film that really was just more about the central characters than any larger overarching theme, this really is a film that's worth seeking out if you're into those types of stories. Number 2 Claws now this is a Christmas film that has achieved a status that very few Christmas films ever receive, being a legitimate classic film. It can sit proudly alongside the likes of The Santa Claus, A Christmas Story, and of course, Miracle on 34th Street. Now this piece of animation really was nothing short of pure art that reminded me so much of the films produced by Disney during their Renaissance era, which isn't surprising considering the director and writer was someone who worked there during that period, and you can see him recreate all these techniques from that era in just such gorgeous and beautiful splendor. But of course, it's also got a fantastic story with likable, well rounded characters. And the humor and themes present in this film, they never go into just toilet kitty humor. They're actually clever. They have timing. They're respectable. It treats its tight audience of children like they're intelligent beings, and in turn also becomes something that adults can not only enjoy, but laugh at alongside them. This is an absolute joy of a film that really does drive home that animation is an art form, and I'm hoping, hoping to high heaven, it helps inspire more traditional two-dimensional animation over CGI or CalArts. Now before we go to our number one spot, here are a few honourable mentions. Tonight is not a game, it is a hunt. Sim! Yes, it is I! Oh wait, sorry, you'll have to move along here.
hideous goblin. I'm posing dramatically for when the dib shows up. I am too. What? Uh, uh, uh. Did you just talk? Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my god! You can understand me! Stop! I've been so lonely! It's a corpse looking for her missing toe. <laughs> Number one, Joker. I cannot lie, this really was the best film of 2019. An absolutely dark, twisted, and nihilistic plunge into the mind of the man who would one day become the Joker, or become the man who would inspire the Joker, or perhaps someone who was never the Joker to begin with. And the joke was really on us, the audience, that everything was in his head. That's the level of writing that this film has, which is surprising given that the director was the guy who made the Hangover and Road Trip films. Joaquin Phoenix gave us one of the best performances we've seen since Heath Ledger, absolutely putting Jared Leto's Joker to shame as Arthur Fleck, a man whose life is just pure, utter hell and misery rushing him until he just explodes, inspiring a wider social movement that very well may cement the Joker in the minds of the people of Gotham. Don't go into this expecting your usual superhero film. This is not that. This is the origin story. This is a character study that clearly takes inspiration from classic films of the 70s like Taxi Driver and King of Comedy. If you want to get an idea of what those films were like without checking out anything from that era, watch Joker. This is an absolutely amazing film that deserves every award it's been nominated for at the Oscars and Joaquin Phoenix, he really is an absolute treasure just like Heath Ledger.